Welcome back. We're almost there. We're almost to the end. It's almost time to sit for your uh, email marketing mastery final exam. But before we get there, we need to talk about email deliverability. Now, if your emails aren't hitting the inbox, everything else we've talked about is a moot point. It doesn't matter. We have to make sure that emails are being delivered to the inbox or all the hard work in, in structuring a promotional calendar and creating these elaborate campaigns and, and building relationships and engaging with your subscribers on a real personal level and building real solid, uh, long-lasting relationships, it, it's, it's worthless because your emails aren't getting delivered. So let's dive in and focus on, on email deliverability for a few minutes and, and really what you need to be focused on and what you need to be doing to ensure uh, that your emails are hitting the inbox. So first, a couple of facts about email deliverability. Just 79% of commercial emails worldwide land in the, in the inbox, in the actual inbox of your subscriber. That means for every five emails sent, one never reaches the recipient. Now, those are very favorable numbers. I'll tell you, I believe in all reality, it's more like two out of five actually hit their inbox. Two out of five on average on commercial intent um, because most people aren't focusing on list hygiene. Right? Most people aren't focusing on the really important things and making sure that, that they're monitoring their email deliverability. So, so let's talk about three ways to prove that you're not a spammer because at the end of the day, that's what it's really all about. It's your job to prove to the email service providers, to, to the ISPs, that you're not a spammer, that you're one of the good guys. See, in, in most cases, you're guilty until proven innocent as a bulk mailer. They assume that you're a spammer before they assume that you're a, a reputable mailer. So the way that you need to make sure that you're not lumped in with, with spammers is to not act like a spammer. You need to look like someone who knows what they're doing. Even if you don't, that's the important part. Even if you don't understand anything that I'm about to walk through on technical setup, uh, you need to understand that it's all about knowing uh, what you're supposed to do and doing it. So that when the email service providers, when the ESPs and ISPs look at you, they say, yes, that's in order. Yes, that's in order. Yes, that's in order. And you have everything there you're presentable, so they'll at least move to give you the benefit of the doubt and then look at uh, engagement. See how your emails are actually performing instead of looking at you and saying, they're obviously a spammer, no matter what engagement is, let's not let their, their emails in. So let's talk about the three ways to prove that you're not a spammer. So the first way is your mailer reputation, your mailer reputation. How do you look from a bulk mailer, mailer standpoint? I don't know why that word is hard for me to say right now. So from a bulk mailer reputation, how is your reputation? What is your, your, uh, what is your volume? What are your complaint rates? And we'll dive into each of these uh, individually here in just a second. But factor number one, your reputation, right? What, what has happened in the past? What are you doing and what are you not doing? Number two is your sender infrastructure. So this is the technical setup. Are you technically set up like you know what you're doing? Are you set up to say, here's who I am, here's where mail is coming from. Yes, I'm verifying that when mail comes from here, it's authorized to, to, to be initiated from here and it's really from me. Do you look like you know what you're doing? Right? The same thing with feedback loops. Have you, have you set up your feedback loops or has your, your internet service provider set up those feedback loops on your behalf so that when someone marks spam or complains that they're automatically unsubscribed from your email list or you continually emailing people who mark spam, right? So again, how to not look like a spammer, how to prove that you're not a spammer. And number three, your subscriber engagement. And honestly, these are technical, right? Definitely number two, very technical, very easy to set up, right? For the, in the most case, uh, your, you could have uh, your, your web host set up the things that you need to set up. If you're using an enterprise level uh, um, service ESP, if you're using an enterprise level uh, email service provider, they'll help you set up the sender infrastructure. If you're using a shared IP, it almost doesn't matter. But looking at these things, if you can do, if you, if you have a solid repu reputation and you know how to manage that reputation, then you're gonna get the benefit of the doubt. If you set up the things that, that need to be set up to prove that you uh, you know you're, you're generating mail and you're verifying it, it's coming from you, then you're gonna get the benefit of the doubt. And if 
you get the benefit of the doubt on those two things and the mail that the internet service providers let through to their customers they are actively engaging with, then you're going to get a very high delivery rate. So those are the three things that, that they're focused on. And in the next video, we're going to dive into mailer repu reputation and really break that one down. And I'll show you how you can benchmark and monitor and improve that. So I'll see you in the next video.